So don't worry about what's going on in the background. We do a lot of video work here. Something always creeping up all over the place. Uh, today wanted to talk to you about main thing, the spiritual journey, the roadmap as such. Today, one of my best friends, he took up initiation as a saint here. Now, it comes to people's mind, why do people even go to that level? How did they even get there? What's going on in their mind? To be honest, it comes down to the experience, what they're experiencing, that builds them, that keeps building them. And uh, overall, that's a big part of what it is. But let me put in a logical Q&A type of situation. Things are always going on outside of us. We don't really control that. What do you control? And now, if you're taken on a whole journey about, okay, let me make sure every single thing is right before I'm happy, it doesn't really work out. When it goes to a deeper level now, the external world and the internal world, if you judge your ego, if you judge your passions, if you judge the way you love, if that's all governed by things outside of you, your life becomes on a chase and uh, there's no sense of satisfaction and then when you realize or when you experience something that this place gives you that whole internal vibe a lot of things start getting clearer in the head now in a simple example if you want to start changing things about yourself if you want to control your mind a bit if you want to if you want to just be a bit more chilled out or if you want to be a bit more pumped up whatever it is you can start doing it habitually so you can start changing your habit you can start really trying to manipulate life a bit all of that it's all doable I'm not, I'm not going to put that to the side. But there's this other thing that we don't really talk about out there. If you change it from the court, if you're naturally happy really deep down, what does that do to everything? On the internal, you govern the level of happiness you want to live by. If you really find out who you are, your deeper self, all of that, you start governing from the inside out. Then you become free from the impact of others. You become free from things that we're just taught that should impact us. So it's like, if there's less salt in your food, it just doesn't affect you. Why? Because you're, you're, you're something else really deep down. This whole spiritual thing, it sounds like some spiritual awakening, some oh self-realization. It sounds good in words, basically. Now, what does it look like in reality? There's no spiritual master that just talks. He doesn't just get you onto levels by talking. There's a whole practicality about what does it look like it doesn't look like just sitting down with your eyes closed. No, 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 none of that. The roadmap goes a lot like this. I find myself a spiritual trainer. You know when you go to the gym, you get like a trainer. They will get you to lift like 5 kg and then they'll go up to like 100. They don't just go to the next step straight away. Now, over here, this is how it worked. You get trained up. You start, you start finding out more about yourself. You start asking on your realizations. You start asking someone that's really done a lot more than you have done. All of this, it starts becoming your training. You start looking inside yourself. You start wanting to get mental stability, first thing. You start wanting to be able to clock a thought before it even comes. All of that starts wanting to happen. Then you start getting to the level where things naturally start pulling to a certain direction. People that don't have focus, everything's just all scattered all over the place. One day they'll be about this. And over here, when you're on the training life, you're really going after something. You're going after something and a lot of energy starts coming at you. You're pulling it, you're actually finding it and there's a whole resource on the inside. All of this, it starts adding up as a lifestyle, gets addictive, you start finding out more. You get to the stage where anything external, anything external, it just doesn't really feel like what matters. That's when you find swamis like you get here, that's when you take up initiation. That's a whole different conversation, to be honest. And uh, I don't know if I put this in like some sort of clear way or if it just looked like some buzz video. But what I'm trying to say is there's a whole internal world. Now that internal world, it has answers that we can't go to someone and just ask them straight away. I can't just go to someone and say, tell me about your experiences in spirituality things like that what they do here they will show you a few things they've done you will do it you will experience that and then you will realize how this individual came to the realizations he came to all of that that adds up that's the way we learn that's why i'm saying this whole thing about 
Q&A, this whole thing about reading and trying to master something. It's all about how you put that into experience.